Rhythm games have been around for quite a while now, and have taken on many different forms. From dancing with your feet on a stage, to using your hands to play a guitar, to moving your whole body to the beat, rhythm games have seen some big variety in gameplay style and theming. I love rhythm games, and there are so many people that don't know about the current games right now, and it makes me so sad. Every time I'm at a convention, and I see someone wander up to the sound voltex machine, and walk away after seeing someone else play it, a little piece of me dies inside. Rhythm games can offer some of the most intense and fulfilling challenges, so today I'm going to show you guys 10 arcade rhythm games you should try in 2019. A qualifier for this list is that I'm only going to list games that can be played in the US. Arcade rhythm games can be a little sparse in the US due to many of them being owned by Konami and not being officially licensed or sold to the US. But I want people in the US to know that they at least have a chance of playing these games, even if you might have to travel a bit. With that said, here are 10 arcade rhythm games you should play in 2019. Number 10, Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm All-Star Carnival. Theater Rhythm has been a short-running Final Fantasy rhythm game spin-off series. The gameplay involves leading a party of Final Fantasy characters into a battle whose outcome is determined by how well you play the song. Your party will go up against a series of monsters on the screen while you play the song, and the art style is absolutely charming. There are two types of gameplay separated for the two types of songs, field music and battle music. The field music gameplay takes place on a sort of roller coaster, with all the notes landing on one swerving track. The battle music gameplay is split into four tracks, each one representing one of your four party members. If you're a fan of Final Fantasy, this game is jam-packed with things you'll love, and the difficulty of the game can really start to get up there if you're playing some of the harder charts. You can find this game at most Round 1 stores, and you're going to hear me mention Round 1 a lot, because that's the easiest place to find a good amount of the games on this list. They're an arcade chain from Japan that started opening stores in the US in the last few years. Their company retains the licensing agreement the Japanese branch has, so the Konami Rhythm Games are actually brought to these stores. Round ones can be few and far between, but if there's one near you, take advantage of it. Number 9, Pump It Up. Pump It Up, or as some people call it, DDR with 5 buttons is a dance rhythm game developed by Andamira. While retaining the same general style of gameplay of DDR, in the sense that you step on the arrows at the right time, the overall design and musical influence of the game is quite different, more prominently featuring Korean artists and even some licensed K-pop tracks. The game is still being updated, with the current version as of writing being Prime 2. However, in the next few months, Pump It Up XX will be coming out, so be on the watch for it if you're looking to get your 5-panel fix. Andamira works with many more companies than Konami does, and as such, Pump It Up machines are very easy to find. Many Dave & Buster's locations will have Pump It Up, and may even keep the version updated and the machine online. Many Round 1 locations also have Pump It Up. You'll also be able to find a Pump It Up machine at many conventions, as it is quite popular for convention game rooms. Just be wary of the con stink. Number 8, Poppin' Music. Poppin' Music is one of Konami's oldest rhythm game series, with its 25th main version, Poppin' Music Peace, releasing as of October of 2018. This loud and colorful game will keep your attention with its giant buttons, anime art style, and its varied track selection. Poppin' has one of the widest variety of music in a rhythm game, ranging from reggae to hardstyle. It even features a fantastic versus mode that lets you duel your friend in a 1 vs 1 modified version of the game with only 3 buttons, and power-ups to make sure your friend doesn't secure that full combo. Poppin tends to be a bit overlooked now, but it's a classic rhythm game that still has many dedicated players. Poppin isn't super hard to find, but it may not always be the right version. As far as I'm aware, while many round ones have Poppin, it's often not the current version, being quite a few versions behind. That being said, Poppin has a tendency to show up at conventions, so that's probably your best bet if you want to have some colorful, happy fun and damage your hands on the plastic buttons along the way. Number 7, U Beat. Yes, it's U-Beat, not Ju-Beat. Looking at U-Beat, you might be confused what this 4x4 panel of buttons over a screen wants from you. But it's as simple as it seems. U-Beat gameplay involves watching for the notes to appear under each of the 16 buttons, and press them at the right time when the song calls for it. Simple at its core, but presented in a very interesting way. The cabinets are charming and small, with plushies often being packed into the cubes at the top by the owners. The game seems to have a surprising draw to casual rhythm game players compared to most others, most likely for its simplicity and straightforward presentation. While U-Beat doesn't show up at many stores like Dave & Buster's or Round 1, it's an extremely popular convention game. Many medium and large sized conventions have begun prominently featuring U-Beat in their game rooms, with some having as many as 8 machines. Just be prepared to wait. In almost every con game room I've seen with UB, the game manages to somehow have a three-person line for every machine for the entire duration of the con. Number 6, Dance Dance Revolution. The classic, the one everyone and your mom has played. I'd bet many people watching this video have a DDR soft pad stuffed away in a closet somewhere. DDR was a rhythm game smash hit in the early 2000s, and is one of the most recognizable rhythm games to date. However, due to its hiatus for a few years and the death of American arcades, many people don't know that it actually got a new version a few years ago. DDR-A, or Ace, actually got an American localization, and it was put into about 25 Dave & Buster's locations, in addition to most round ones. The game has a moderately active player base in areas that have a machine, and the game is getting song updates fairly frequently. DDR is both easy and hard to find, depending on where you live. Some states have multiple machines in a few mile radius, and some states don't have a machine within a 6 hour drive. Most round 1s have DDR, but my tip would be to not assume your Dave & Buster's has one. Check online first, there's a list of locations that have DDR-A. 
Of course, many, many conventions have DDR, but it's most likely not DDR-A, as converting cabs to DDR-A was never officially supported. But you can definitely still get your DDR fix at most cons. Number 5, Groove Coaster. Groove Coaster is an extremely unique rhythm game that plays on a sort of roller coaster track, hence the name. Your character moves along the track at the pace of the song, and as it encounters different note types, it's your job to hit them using the double analog stick slash button control scheme. Tap the top of the buttons, jiggle them back and forth, push them in different directions, and try to keep up. It's a very polished and well-presented game, with every song having a different track and background for you to experience. The game also offers additional challenge for you wizards out there, as the game features ad-lib notes. These are invisible notes placed on the track in specific places where some people may think there would be a note. Hit that button if you're feeling the beat and you may just be rewarded with an ad-lib. This game has also grown popular at conventions lately, and is also featured at most round 1s, with some locations even having 4 machines. There are also many other ways to play Groove Coaster, with the most recent being the release on Steam. This release features controller support and also many songs that are not present in the arcade version. This is the version I'd recommend if you don't have access to a machine, though there is also a mobile version if you'd prefer that. Number 4, Sound Voltex. Sound Voltex has a habit of mystifying onlookers. With a flurry of sound and speed, this game gets insane at high levels, featuring extremely fast speedcore and hardcore tracks from producers like Camellia, Lar, and Cobario. But the game also has a lighter side, featuring Vocaloid and lighter EDM tracks, catering to many audiences. The game's control setup can be a bit intimidating, prominently featuring knobs that are used to track on-screen lasers while dealing with the other notes. As a result, high-level play may tend to look a bit overpowering, but if you've ever looked at this game and thought there's no way you could play it, I implore you to give it another try. You'll be able to find something that fits your skill level. Sound Voltex can be found at most round 1s, though the number of cabinets varies from location to location, and you may be facing long wait times if there's only one cabinet. The game has also shown up at many conventions, but again, the amount of machines may require you to have some patience before you get yourself into the Voltex. Number 3, Beatmania 2DX. The granddaddy, the OG, the original DJ simulation game. Beatmania 2DX is part of the Beatmania series, possibly the longest running rhythm game series of all time. Beatmania 2DX features 7 keys, arranged in a white-black pattern, similar to a piano. It also features a turntable to complement the 7 keys. Beatmania 2DX is very difficult, having an extremely tight and precise timing window, but is also very straightforward. You pick a song, and you play the notes as they come down the screen toward the red line. The game's musical direction has shifted dramatically over time, as the game has a tendency to follow Japanese music trends. The Beatmania 2DX series is still ongoing, with its 26th major version releasing earlier this year. This game is notable for having one of the highest skill ceilings of any game ever. There are players that have been playing the game for well over 10 years, still finding ways to improve and enjoy what the game has to offer. If you want a rhythm game to play for the rest of your life, this is the one. Beatmania 2DX is found at most round 1s, and also at conventions. Be wary though, there tends to be a very small amount of machines at conventions, as they are very large and hard to move. Expect to deal with some card lines or play at degenerate hours if your machine is busy. Number 2, Mai Mai. Now we're hitting weird territory. Mai Mai is the game famously known as the washing machine game, because well, that's what it looks like. The game involves tapping and swiping on the circular playfield to the music. It's an extremely active game for one that's played with your hands, and the higher difficulties might have you sweating. The game features a wide selection of music, from your typical EDM rhythm game affair to music from some Sega games and even anime. There's something for everyone here, and the game is an absolute joy to play, and even to watch. Mai Mai is a bit tricky to find. There are a few private stores that own it, notably one in Las Vegas near the Strip. A few cons have started to pick it up as well, as Tokyo Attack, one of the prominent convention arcade groups, has been picking them up recently. Even though two people can play at a time, expect long lines. This game is exotic, and sticks out like a sore thumb in a room full of games we see time and time again at conventions. Number 1, Chinatham. If I had to pick a game that had the highest number of people who wanted to play it, but the lowest number of people who have actually gotten a chance to play it, it would be Chinatham. Chinatham has shown very high popularity in Japan and other Asian regions, with some arcade owners supposedly selling off other machines to make room for more Chinathams. The game is played with a capacitive touch strip and some sort of IR sensor to tap and slide and lift your hands to the beat with this flashy arcade game. The game even features some official gimmick charts and some extremely hard stuff as well. You'd be the talk of the town if you got this game at your convention. I wish you luck finding this game, truly. I want to play it just as bad as everyone else. As of writing, there is one Chunatham cabinet beginning to make the rounds at conventions, owned by Tokyo Attack. If you see a con near you with Tokyo Attack, I highly recommend you check their game list and find out if it's there. As of right now, for American players, playing Chunatham may be a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Don't waste it. So there you have it. 10 arcade rhythm games that you should play in 2019. These games make their way to cons more and more every year, and it's getting more and more possible for American players to give these games a try. Rhythm games are a fantastic experience and can expose you to some great music and great people, so I really hope you give this a shot. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out my Twitter and my Twitch, uh, links in the description below. If I missed a game that you really like and think people should check out, let me know in the comments. 
If you liked this video, hit those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys next time.